everyone. Welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. Today I'm going to share with you how to create this little pillow box and embellish it with our Tea Room Suite. Um, our Tea Room Suite is located in the 2018 annual catalog. You'll find it on pages 14 and 15. You'll also find a video um, that highlights the Tea Room Suite on my blog as well, or you can find it on the Be Creative Stamping YouTube channel. So we're going to use the stamp set today and the coordinating framelits. We'll also use the Tea Room Copper Vinyl Stickers and the Tea Room Ribbon Combo Pack. And of course, you've already noticed the craft pillow box. So we'll turn to the very back of our catalog on page 193, and you'll find it right here in the center of the page. There are 10 bo boxes per package, and they're $5 per package. We're going to start with the craft pillow box, and it's hard to see, but there are score lines on both sides of the box and you're going to want to push in that score line and make that first closure. Now, of course, you're going to put your treat inside before doing this, so be sure to do that. You're gonna also notice the other side has this little half inch circle that's already cut out, and that will go on top, and you're going to press this in as well, right on that score line. And then when you go to open it, you have that little tab that you can pull on, okay? So we'll go ahead and close both. Again, this closes the same way as the other side, okay? And now we'll add our ribbon, and this is the Tea Room ribbon. It comes um, in two colors. You get five yards of the Coastal Cabana with the copper trim, and then you also um, get five yards of the Very Vanilla ribbon with the copper trim. So I've already taken the time to cut this, and that is 16 inches and 17, 18, 19, 20. So you're going to want to cut about a 20 inch piece of ribbon, and you're just going to wrap it around your box, and then you tie your bow at the top. I was just checking to be sure that my ribbon was straight. All right, so this is where you tie your bow. All righty, yeah, and 20 inches should be just perfect for you. You could even cut 21 inches if you feel like you need a little more for getting that bow tied, okay? All right, so that little piece is done, and now I'm going to show you um, the framelits that we're going to use to cut out this Calypso coral shape, okay? So this is the spot of tea framelits, and you do get nine dies in this package. And we're actually going to use the largest um, shape to cut out our, um, our shape in Calypso Coral, which I've already done here, okay? So let me move these to the side. And I have a few tricks that I wanna show you with the stamps, okay? So now what we'll do is, we're going to go and use the Time for Tea stamp set. And we're going to stamp this image here in um, Memento Black Ink because we're going to color it um, with our stamp and blends, okay? So let me just show you how that's done. I've got some scrap paper here and I'm inking this up. And you'll want to stamp two of these because we have some here and some here. And I just realized you didn't even see me stamp that. I'm so sorry. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So now I've stamped both of these in the Memento Black ink. And this is where I bring in the stamp and blends. And I'm using Old Olive. And now I'm gonna zoom back in for you. And I'm using the lighter uh, Stampin' Blend Old Olive. And I'm just gonna quickly do this so you can see what I do. I like starting with the light one. I can always make these leaves darker if I want. All right. Go ahead and get these done. 
Okay. I didn't do my best work, but I don't want you to have to stay here and watch me color the entire time. Okay. All right, so you're going to color both of those. And then I like to bring in the darker Stampin' Blend. This is Old Olive again. And then I'm just going to shade a couple of these leaves in various places, okay? And that will just give it a little definition and just kind of highlight it a little bit. Now, here's the really cool part. Stampin' Up! has added an extra framelit so that you can cut two of these at one time. So here's the framelit here, and you would be able to position this on your magnetic platform. Let me get that. And you would be able to cut out both at the same time, and I did that this morning, and it was super quick. So be sure to remember that when you get your spot of T framelits. Now I want to show you how to stamp um, this flower, okay? And so for this flower, we are going to use Calypso Coral. And there are two flowers we're using. Um, let's see if I can find it. This is the solid image and this is the outline. So I'm gonna teach you how to stamp and use both of those. By the way, if you didn't want to color these ornate leaves, you could always stamp them with the solid stamp. Okay, so you have that option of coloring or just stamping. All right, so I'm gonna bring in Calypso Coral. This is one of the brand new ink pads. And I'm actually going to start with the solid image. And my ink pads are brand new, so they have tons of ink on them. So I just wanna stamp off, and then I am going to stamp onto the, uh, Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to do it again. I'm making two flowers and I've stamped off on both of those. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to take the outline of the stamp and I am going to ink um, the outline up in Calypso Coral. Then I am going to line up my stamp. And this might be a little difficult for me since. I've got my uh, my camera in the way. Let's see. I'm just going to try that. Let me try it again. It's hard because I'm not standing right over it. Okay. So again, if I could have been right over the stamp, um, the outline would have been better. But it's super easy to line up and do. You see that I've got my two flowers here. Okay. I've already taken the time to stamp and cut two out. Oh, and here's the other wonderful thing, and you may have guessed it, Stampin' Up! has created two of these flower shapes. So now, you can cut out both of these at the same time, and you just have to line it up, and then you'll put this on the magnetic platform as well. All right, let's see if I can get that lined up. And so you can cut two at one time. So it really will save you time, okay? All right, and then the teacup, I've already taken the time to stamp, but I do want to show it to you. I stamped the teacup on Pool Party cardstock, and I ink that stamp in Coastal Cabana, okay? So the cardstock is Pool Party, the ink is Coastal Cabana. And now I'm going to use one of our copper foil stickers. These stickers coordinate with the stamp sets. Here's one sheet. You actually get four sheets in a package, so you would get four of these and then, excuse me, two of these, two of these, and then you're going to get two of these, and you can see that I've already used some of these. So I am looking for, let's see if I can find it. Oh, right here. Okay, so this little piece right here is what I want. So I'm gonna peel this off. Now, once they stick, they are there. Uh, they're not very forgiving if you need to pull it up and reposition it, okay? They're pretty sticky. So here, you can see that this sticker coordinated with the stamp set. So we just added that little gold foil sticker there. 
We're now ready to put our pieces together and embellish this little um, label that we've cut out. And I'm going to put this one. I used Tombow glue on this, and I'll show you how I did that in a second, okay? So I'm just going to put this one up like this, okay? And now here we have the other one to do. All right, and you really don't need very much. I kind of squeezed out a lot there. I'm going to use my tweezers to help me position it. All right. So like that. All right, and now we're going to bring in the little flowers. And I'm going to use a mini dimensional. And I'll peel that off, and we're going to add our flower right here on top. So that's popped up. We're going to do the same with this flower. And it's really however you want to position them. And then our teacup is going to also be popped up, and I'm going to use a standard dimensional for that. Um, I think I'll use a couple because they're just so fun anyway. Alrighty, and we'll peel this off, and then we'll add our teacup right here. And now we need more dimensionals. We're going to pop up the shape on our um, box, okay? Alright, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and put another one there in the middle. We will peel this off. And then we're going to add it to this box. So this little box, of course, your treat is already in there. Mine is ready for a treat. And it's easy enough for me to untie this to get the treat out or even untie it to put the treat in, okay? So there's our little tea room suite craft pillow box. You can pick up the tea room suite and the craft pillow boxes in my online store. If you're on YouTube right now, under the video, there are two words that say, show more. Click on that, and there will be a link to my blog where you can click that link, go to my blog, pick up a supply list, see the Tea Room Suite video, and of course, you can see this video again as well. Thanks so much for buzzing by.